Uh, yeah. I have nine toes. Why do you have nine toes? I, uh, I was born with it. It was a, a birth defect. Which toe? The pinky. My right pinky. But is it like a stump there, or is it just like there's just not a toe? It, um, is it like it's a little? Is it like this? People or is usually it like think this? that it's quite gross looking, but it's it's oh. it's very natural. I mean, I think that if you took a quick look at my foot, yeah. you wouldn't actually realize unless you counted it because th th it's just you know it just goes in like this. So ah. kinda, yeah. Um, my mom tells me that when I was uh, learning to walk, it actually was like something the doctor said that might mess me up a little because you yeah, need your toes. Yeah, you're not swimming. I'm okay. Yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. Uh, your I mean, four I toe uh, condition doesn't bother you? Like, uh, it's not uh, hard. You think that that extra toe will make me much slower? No. No. No, no, they, um, it hasn't had a huge effect on my life, but I do have nine toes. This is, this is difficult, I feel like, because uh, it's very believable. Do I look like someone who would have one toe missing? I I I don't I don't <laughs> see people and instantly think okay. about how many toes you know, they the, have. You see, I it, do. It, it's very I plausible. Do. It's very. Uh, it's it's made me look at people yeah. in a different not not in a different way, but I think about these things sometimes because yeah. it's, you never know. Like yeah. you didn't know we met yesterday, and you don't know until I tell you, right? So it has no effect. It's very believable, mm. but I'll just go with my gut and say it's a lie. Yeah, it's a lie. Oh my god! <laughs> yes. Oh, wow! <sighs> I tried really hard to give it some backstory. Yeah, but it was really, really good. Yeah. I don't know, it was just <laughs> my Norwegian instinct. Yeah. I once ate a snail off the ground. Okay, was it alive? Yeah, but it was one of those like really slow purge, like the brown ones you find in the garden. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, how how old were you when you did this? <laughs> this was yesterday. <laughs> yeah. I I was twenty eight. Twenty eight. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh God, why? Um, curiosity. I felt like, uh, you know. I, okay, uh, you were 28 years old, and you decided because you were curious to eat a snail. Yeah, and you, when you said wh when I said why, you're saying you were just curious. Yes. Were you with a friend? Were you pressured? I were you trying to be the goof? And we were making a video. Okay. Yeah. W where so did you? P what did you do with this video? Put it on YouTube. You put a video on YouTube of you eating a snail that was alive. Yeah, it was like part of a video. We and that was okay. The thing is, <laughs> this was during the Pokemon Go hype. Yeah. So we were actually out in a big park in Oslo playing Pokemon Go. And I was like, oh, there's a snail. I always thought when putting s salt over them, like, how would they taste? Like, uh, they have this texture. I, I have been thinking about this ever since I was a child, putting salt on, the, on them. And I felt like I'm doing a bunch of dumb shit on YouTube. I could just uh, try now. God, it's hard because... That's what she said. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really know you enough to completely know if you do this. No. But the vibe you give me is that it's true. I think you ate a snail because you were curious. It's a lie! God my damn it! <laughs> oh! But it is a good idea, actually. When yeah, of course it I is. It's that. something you would do. Why haven't I done this? Damn it. You know what convinced me? Huh? What convinced me was the Pokemon part. Because oh, it yeah. fit very well. You said you were 28. That's a few yeah. years ago, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it fit perfectly. I once spent a week eating nothing but minced meat for all my meals. Interesting. Just minced meat. Yeah. And shut fast. Shut fast. What kind of minced meat? Carbonade dai. Carbonade dai. So carbonade dai is just like clean beef. And which one up. did you eat? Carbonade dai, like the oh. clean, fancy one that wow. people usually don't buy. Okay, and that's more expensive. Uh, as well a, as bit, yeah. a bit, a yeah. bit. So you ate only that three times a day? Would you do it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Yeah, or would you do three like or two. But I would like, uh, I was doing it with a friend for a week. It was a vacation, and we would like get a pack of minced meat uh, each uh, for breakfast, Got and it. then one for late 
uh, and, supper. And why? We were home alone and we had just started playing World of Warcraft. So okay. we just wanted quick food. So surely that's like ramen noodles. Because yeah, this meat yeah. you have to cook. But our neighbor and that's was a, a truck driver. And he oh, uh, he drove a truck with like frozen Lots minced meat, meat yeah. but the <laughs> cooling elements uh, started malfunctioning, so oh. everything was written off. So he came home with like two freezers full of minced meat. Hold on, so he's driving for a company that sells yeah. meat. Yeah. The freezer in said truck malfunctions. Yeah. So they have no other freezers, and they say you can you get all of this they meat worth re thousands it. and thousands tens of thousands they're maybe not allowed to refreeze it and sell it okay because that's that a very good answer it, it can <laughs> it can lead to bad meat but usually it's okay so we refroze it but we got li we just filled our like we had like a, a chest freezer just filled that yeah and um that was our food and you would during would our you do, would you, uh, world of warcraft prime days got it okay you ate only that mm. yeah. um i think this is a lie yeah. it's true really yeah. really yeah. oh it really felt like yeah. that truck thing yeah. came out of nowhere no no that's uh, that was uh, nice true. that's a good one but it's not good to eat that much red meat though no terrible yeah, yeah. we didn't I'm know that then Hmm, okay. Be ready. Yeah. For a couple of years, I had to say a specific phrase to my parents before going to bed every night. Or I thought something bad would happen. Oh, superstition. Kids and superstition. That's great. What did you say to your parents? What do you mean? What did you say to your parents every night? You said it every night before you went to bed. Yeah. I said, uh, good night, sleep tight, kisses and hugs, I'll see you tomorrow, I love you. Oh, that's impressive, because it would be easier to like go further into the rhyme and say, don't let the bed bugs bite. But you chose another path. Why I don't did you think do that? I, I mean, I wasn't, I don't think I wanted a rhyme. Okay, okay. And it'll have been in Swedish as well. Oh, so it does it say it to me in Swedish. Say what in Swedish? Yeah, I, I'm your, I'm your uh, mother now. Got You're it. going to sleep. Uh, say, say the sentence. Uh, yeah, uh, good night, so good, puss och kram, ses imorgon, jag älskar dig. Oh my god, that's, that's really nice. I it's a nice phrase, isn't it? Yeah, and it's really important to like pro proclaim your love yeah. for your family member. How old were you? I was uh, young enough to do it, but old enough to know better. So, 13. Yeah. 11 to 13. I, I want this to be true uh, so bad that I'm just gonna right now say that it's, it's true. But it you doesn't ask me any more questions about it. No, I just think it's super sweet, and oh, I really want really it to nice. be true. Oh, yeah. No, it's true. Yes! Uh, <laughs> Congratulations to you as well for being a loving son. I spent a couple of years saying that. I do not so good for this That's so nice. Today. But I, I was so extreme with it that if they said anything to me after I'd said it, I had to say it again. We both were weird children. Yeah, I think that's what yeah. comes down after this. That's yeah. what you have to take from this. No. But Norway won, guys. And the Norwegians out there, happy for me. For folk, I think I think that it's good here. It will be remembered as most. I feel like I got to know you a bit better. Like, Me too. This was like such a, a yeah. bonding experience. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you showing up late in practice sorry, again? Why are you I'm showing sorry. up late in practice again? Yeah, Tio. Yeah. We're in this together. I'm here looking to join the team, and you don't even know my name. <laughs> you know, I, did, I didn't know the name of my three other co-pilots until they made a name themselves. <laughs> okay. Oh, sure. oh, oh, okay, nice. Uh, just needed now. Hey, I said next to go. Oh, I made the story. What are you waiting for? Oh, that one's on refresh.